to a new video i hope you guys are doing well if you're new here thank you so much for giving me a chance and if you've been here before i really do appreciate the love and the support okay now that we've gotten out the formalities out of the way <laughs> let's get on with this video you guys so today as you have seen by the title of the video i'm taking you through our first event like i don't know how to say my and i don't know how to say i when it comes to this because it was such a partnership and even being fruitful or fruitful itself it is a community so i can't say my first event but our first event you so the title <laughs> regarding our first event and i just want to take you guys through that and where it started and you know where it's going and how it's going anyway guys so i was in a very like dark space in my life yo it was difficult guys and it was after um baby and i had to go back to work and then when i when i had to go back to work that's when i started feeling like i was i don't know I, I just i just felt like i was living outside of purpose if that makes sense and areas of my life that were struggling the most with my finances my mental health mostly and my work with god because obviously i was tired i was exhausted all the time i, I didn't have time i didn't have time to pray i didn't have time for all of those things and that's where the whole idea came and i was thinking solemnly on the on the event that i want to have such an event you know i want to have such an event bring a bunch of women together and just be vulnerable with each other and just be ourselves you know i didn't want it wasn't an event where there was speakers and you know like experts or whatever and we're just sitting there but i just wanted us to just be vulnerable with each other and just talk right so that's when the idea started and i was like i need for us as women to come together you know and just be okay with being vulnerable with each other because that is a way of us healing and getting better and yeah guys i chickened out of this so many times i was like am i sure that this is what i'm is it for me you know because most of the time we struggle with that personally i struggle with it a lot because i'll be excited for that moment and i'll be like this is what god wants me to do this is what god wants me to do and then the next minute i'm like it's probably for me i must come down you know so that's what happened with me i was like no maybe this is not for me maybe this is for me it's not from god you know i even i even said that to my husband and my husband was like if it was from you it would not be bigger than you if it was from you it'll be average it'll be it'll be here on a hand like i that will be that will be the the limit but this this is bigger than you so it must be from god that's what he said to me and i was like okay and i told a few friends some of them i should not have <laughs> and some of them i should not have because after that the dream just sort of died the dream just sort of died and i remember i had plans around it for maybe before the end of the year but the year has had already ended before i could even do it and then i had to start over and be like you know what I need to do this this is something that i need to do the more i prayed the more i i knew i had to do it the more i felt so much peace about it the more the dream came back alive um also what helped was reading the book by jesus that's why i talk about that book so much guys because it literally changed my my life and it continues to change my life so i read that book and that book just kept on saying you need to do this you need to do this i think god has really been using you born with that book you know to speak with to speak to me it has mobilized me so much it has gotten me to a point where i get up and i do what i want to do and i do what i've been you know as much as you know the year comes and you're like oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i feel like that book has been that for me ever since i started reading it and i'm continuing i continue to read it um because it, i just feel like there's more there's more you know so that's what happened and then um i oh, i'm so grateful for the people in my life the people that i've been talking to about that i was talking to about this event my friends my community you know everyone was just like you need to do this you need to do this everyone was, was here you need to do this they were pushing me you guys they were pushing me a friend of mine 
um, would even tell me, this is, this is the dream that I had and this is what you were doing. Even before I told her about the event, she was like, this is the dream that I had, this is what you were doing. And then I was like, hmm, interesting. And I didn't tell her on purpose. <laughs> but also because when we get together, we just always have so much to talk about. We talk too much. Right? <laughs> so I didn't tell her then. And then she came back to me and was specific. But this, this time it wasn't a dream. She was just like, when are you going to host an event? I'm like, why must I host an event? Like, no, you, should, you, you need to host an event such as this, as this, as this. This is your thing. And I was like, okay. I was like, then I told her, <laughs> then I told her and then she was like, yes, it's about time. And yeah, so we started planning um, in December again. Well, December or November, I think November. I don't remember, but yeah, that's when we started. I don't know if I'm correct me. <laughs> so we started planning around then, you know, I think I created the group of my team in December and then we came up with a date. It was initially the 2nd of March. But then we couldn't find the venue that we wanted in the second of March. So the 9th of March was the venue. And leading up to that, guys, I wanted to cancel so many times. I wanted to change my mind. Because I took my time to uh, release the... Um, to come up with the, um, with the invite. Because I wanted everything to be confirmed. And everything to be solid, you know. Before I did that. Yo, but I wanted to check it out so many times. So many times I wanted to get out of it. But I'm grateful for the people in my life because they pushed me. They kept pushing me that, you know, this is what we're doing. So we're doing. And there were so many factors. Some of them, they just had to do with me and my anxiety and all of that. But then also around that month and before that, it was like, there was just events everywhere. I don't know. There was just so much things that were, I was using the most stupidest, stupidest excuses. <laughs> You know, to try and get out of it, you guys. But it didn't work. It didn't work. And we had our event. And it was beautiful. Life happened that day, you guys. Life happened that day. It was... It didn't want to happen. <laughs> I had a lot of distractions. I had a lot of distractions. But I just kept moving. I just kept saying that um, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. That night, my daughter... The night before, my daughter was admitted to hospital. And during the day of the event... I had I experienced a lot of small glitches that caused me to be like extremely late. Um, yo, know, like there was just things that that wanted to distract me, but I'm glad because I'm just thinking after the event, I thought to myself because everyone was sitting, they didn't want to leave, everyone was sitting, we're having a nice conversation, and I thought to myself, imagine if I had given up, you know, either last night when Zoe was couldn't breathe or today when um i locked my keys in the house and i was having a wardrobe mouth all of those things i was like imagine if i had given up at that moment so yeah guys i don't know what else to tell you okay so this is something important to tell you please please follow our community we are i think i'm gonna put it um on here the whole time please follow us on instagram at being fruitful so we are going to create this big community and that is hopefully going to assist us to stay on our path of being um, holistically well, of being rooted in faith and being fruitful, guys. I think, not I think, we give so much glory and honor to God when we're being fruitful, when we are doing all the things that we want, when we are being um, obedient to him and moving and walking according to the ways that he's calling us, when we are happier when our mental health is stable and our finances are healthy our relationships our friendships our marriages our singleness in our singleness in our everything <laughs> let's come together let's come together on this and and see what we do i say we i keep saying we because i really feel like it's bigger than me i feel like i don't want i don't just want to be you know the only person that you'll see on the fruitful page or on the fruitful events but we you know we <laughs> and i have a team also so we <laughs> yeah i'm so excited you guys please come along with me on this journey and yeah let's do this let's be fruitful together okay okay so now i'm going to take you guys to um the time when i was planning the event i want you guys to see the behind the scenes and the event so the person who was vlogging for me for the event 
that of vlogger guys so there isn't you won't see me uh, you know I, I thought there would be a video of me <laughs> and the video of the other people speaking and all of that none of that <laughs> none of that i just wanted you guys to see a glimpse of here a little bit but unfortunately i don't have that but at least i was just to, at least there's something just to show you guys um how it looked like and how we look like and you know just the vibe the vibe of the event i hope you guys will enjoy this one i'll see you guys on another video thank you so much <laughs>
Joy.